keep celebrating the 31 days of Halloween. And I'm just going to go jump right into it. First up, the first horror film I'm going to talk about is House of Darkness. Yes, came out in 2022. It is directed by Neil Laboot or Laboute, I'm not sure, <laughs> starring uh, Kate Bosworth and uh, uh, a favorite. I'm sure everybody's a big fan of Justin Long. He's always It's always great seeing him show up. Lucy Walters, uh, Gia Grovatin, yes, and Joy Conley. All right, uh, just to give you guys a heads up, this will be spoilers. Uh, I have to spoil the, f the film, so <laughs> it'll be spoilers. Believe me, trust me, you'll thank me when I'm done uh, spoiling it. Uh, but here is the, here's a quick plot synopsis. Hap offers Mina a ride home with ulterior motives. <laughs> but his night takes a turn when he learns she lives in a creepy American castle. And the shadowy figures in the corridors make it clear that he isn't welcome. <laughs> hey, that's right. So Kate Bosworth is playing Mina Murray, and Gia is playing Lucy Murray. Uh, Mina and Lucy. So you, that already is a kind of a giveaway of what of what you think will happen uh, later uh, in the film. So uh, right off the bat, uh, I'll talk about the positives. There's some solid uh, performances, uh, especially from Justin. Uh, there is some there is some moments of some pretty pretty decent suspense building a little bit, and uh, you get some good gore effects at the end of the movie. You, you get some gore effects at the end of the movie. Yes, but uh, <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll briefly talk about the film uh, right here. But that's the positive positives. You get these creepy cave catacombs locations really kind of freaky looking that's great great location the, the the creepy castle is beautiful i wish we saw more of the castle especially when justin long's character gets uh taken on a tour um i kind of was hoping we'd see more of the castle or maybe more happens um but there, there there's some suspense there but whew, oh man you you really have to be patient you have to be <laughs> patient uh, with this movie. So it starts off again. Uh, you know, we have our, our two characters here, uh, Hap and, uh, Mina and, you know, they, they meet at a bar, they have some drinks. Uh, she doesn't have a way home and he, uh, you know, he's like, Hey, you know what? I could take you home. It's no big deal. And, uh, he takes her home and he's like completely stunned of, uh, the castles, like throwing them off. He's like, you live here. Like, you live here. Like, really? So he's like stunned with that. And right off the bat, before they even get inside here to the castle, right off the bat, there's a lot of awkward <laughs> conversation <laughs> between uh, both characters. You know, like she's acting strange. Uh, he's saying things. He's he, he doesn't mean to offend her, but he's asking if it's offensive. You know, he doesn't want to hurt her feelings. And she's like, no, no, no. Be yourself. Say what you want. You know, it's... Very awkward kind of first date, kind of kind of in a way, first date kind of shenanigans, and and I was just like, man, like they they have, it started in the car, it starts, it keeps going when they get out of the car, when they and it keeps going when they're walking towards the castle, and I was like, man, this is like I'm really trusting my patience, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be patient, I'm gonna I'm gonna see this through. Well, prepare yourself because I think a whole entire hour goes by. Or more than that, and we finally get something <laughs> that something happens. So that awkward dialogue and conversation back and forth, that awkward back and forth um, type of dialogue lasts for an, over an hour and keeps going. So you know, I, I this movie did not get good reviews uh, on IMDb and. Um, I was checking stuff after I watched the film. I want to watch it, give my own opinion first, right? But I, I had to look up on what other people thought about it. And and people, some people didn't even finish the film. And some other people were just kind of like, um, what the fuck did they just watch? Like, what was the point of this? And you do kind of see it coming again. Uh, the characters' names are Mina <laughs> and Lucy. Uh, but 
I'm still kind of like, you know what? I'm I'm still I'm here. I I hit play. God damn it, I'm gonna see this through. Maybe something really cool might happen later, right? So again, the awkward conversations continue in the house. And then uh, you know, she offers to give him a drink and she go he leaves. Oh, excuse me, she leaves the room for a while. And then old uh, old old Hap gets a call from his buddy who was also at the bar, and he, you know, he's like talking, like, hey man, what's going on? He's like, Hey man, like she's she's gorgeous, she has this beautiful house. I think she's rich. And man, I, I can't wait to score with her tonight. Kind of like a little bit of, you know, e- you know, egotistical douchebaggery type of, you know, I'll send you photos, kind of talk to his buddy on the phone. Uh, which you find out later, you know, she 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 heard all of it, basically. She heard all of it. And uh that you know, we'll, we'll get to it when we get to that scene. But uh, at first she doesn't, you know, you don't, you don't know she heard it and she comes back with the drink and then they start drinking a little bit and they get a little cozy and more awkward dialogue back and forth. And and then she starts making out a little bit with him. You know, she bites his lip and she sucks on his lip, hint, hint, uh, a little bit too long, you know, but he's all in. He's all like, Hey, wow. She's really going for it, man. He, he's still like, his whole deal is he's so fascinated with her because he's still trying to figure her out, right? Because again, that very awkward uh, dialogue back and forth, and he's just he's trying to figure her out, and she's just <laughs> she's being, you know, she's advanced, she's she's kind of giving him, you know, uh, signals that she's interested, but at the same time, you don't really know what she's thinking. So at first, I was all in, you know, I was just kind of like, even though some of the dialogue was awkward, I was just kind of like, well. Uh, you know, she, let's see where this goes kind of thing, right? Maybe she does like him. So they're, they're making out. Then it escalates to her, you know, doing a little bit of unzipping and kind of going to town. And then her sister walks in, her six, her sister walks in. And of course, uh, Justin Long, his character, his character Hap freaks out. And he's like, oh, he's like, holy shit. I thought you were alone in this house. He did kind of feel like there was somebody else in the house. And, you know, was it a ghost? Was, was it a spirit? Uh, you can assume what it is uh, a little bit later. Hey, what's up, MK? How you doing, brother? <laughs> I know. It's, it always happens when it's late at night. When I when Samurai Guy streams too late, everyone's asleep. <laughs> uh, but I decided to just get, you know, I got to get this done, man. I got I to gotta review these movies. I got to talk about it. Yes. Yes. He's a, uh, you know, <laughs> not even. <laughs> well, it's good seeing you here, bud. Yeah, so so back to the movie. So he's he's freaking out now because he thought she was alone in the house, and he's like, "Oh my god, she just saw her getting ready to do the deed on me, and oh, this is really embarrassing. It's really awkward." So more awkward dialogue happens, and it wasn't until um, you know he gets more drunk, obviously, and at some point she gives him the tour while it's taking three hours for Kate Bosworth's character to make the drink <laughs> the drinks for them. It seems like it's taking her forever. And so they get alone and then he's a little tipsy and he's kind of in a way kind of advancing towards uh, her. His character pretty much throughout the whole movie is he's, 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 he's kind of a douchebag, but at the same time, he's trying to be, he's trying to be a lovable douchebag where he's trying to uh, basically uh, make sure, you know, he gets their consent. So when he, when he kind of like, hints that there might be a threesome later he's like oh if you guys want to but if you don't want to it's okay so he, he keeps doing that throughout the whole movie uh and, you know because he's he's trying to he's trying to play it safe at the same time but sometimes his douchebaggery comes through uh but her thing you know five hours later kate bosworth's character brings uh the drinks and they finally kind of have a little sit down right and she's like her you know uh uh what you call it um lucy's character here her big thing is she wants to, she's a storyteller. She, and, you know, and she wants him to tell them a story. So he tells a story and it, it was kind of a douchebaggery story. And then he's like, all right, I'm bombing here. Well, why don't you tell me the story? Why don't you tell me how it's done? So then, uh, then you know, this was, a, this was a pretty interesting part of the film. This tells of a story of, um, you know, a, a, a young girl who gets abused by the town. Uh, a whole bunch of guys abuse her in a horrible way in the forest and so she wants revenge but her her and lucy 
Lucy and Mina come across this young girl with a gentleman, which they call father, and uh, they take the little girl in, uh, you know, the young lady in, and they nurse her back to health. They change her, hint, hint. And then they basically go hunt down all the guys that abused her and they end up, they end up, you know, getting revenge, right? But then they ended up kind of escalates from there and end up just fucking up the whole town. And then they just go from town to town, <laughs> just doing whatever they want at that point. And, um, you know, trying, she's telling the story, trying to, uh, you know, trying to fuck with uh, Justin Long's character, Hap, here. And, you know, he's getting nervous. He's getting nervous because, you know, he's like, where, you know, why are you telling me this kind of story? And, you know, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Gizmo's trying to play with me. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's jumping up trying to get the headphones. Uh, you know, he's kind of creeped out now. Now, he, now, he's, now he's getting a little, he's getting a little nervous now. And now he wants to leave. And he's like, well, luckily, he's like, woof, look at the time. And he's like, luckily. You know, uh, there's only two of you here. You know, there's not three three girls, three women, so I'm safe. Ha ha. And of course, uh <laughs> you do it a little bit. Of course, he wants to play. Of course, he wants to play now while I'm streaming and make noise. Um, <laughs> that's what cats do. Uh, so you know, he's like he he thought he was gonna get lucky here. You know, he's doing his he thought he was gonna get lucky, get a little threesome action. And of course, it doesn't go that way. And a then finally, after an hour and more goes by, um, basically, the third girl shows up, and then they pretty much rip him the shreds. Uh, <laughs> the story earlier uh, basically came to fruition, and all three women, and this was pretty good blood and pretty good gore effects where they start eating him and ripping his body parts off and stuff like that. Um, un, and then that was a cool scene. That was great. But unfortunately you kind of, you did kind of see it coming a mile away and the movie took too damn long to get going. And I, I was, I was actually kind of proud of myself that I was able to sit through over an hour of, of, of awkward dialogue and nothing else happening. I was actually kind of surprised. I, I didn't just turn it off and try another horror film. So. Uh, oh, I know Gizmo. He's funny, man. He's he's always coming up here. Uh, yeah. So I I feel unfortunately, you know, I was kind of rooting for this film. I was like, oh, this is gonna be a cool like suspense horror, maybe with a little vampire twist on it. But unfortunately, it is what it is. Uh, over an hour of awkward dialogue, and to the point where you kind of feel like, um, you know, you kind of feel like Justin is like ad libbing. This whole movie at parts, it feels like he's just going for it. He's just ad libbing, <laughs> especially with the other characters too. There's parts where they, it feels like they're just, you know, ad libbing at some parts of the movie. But, you know, I, I wish, you know, doing a movie like this is tough, right? It's tough because you want to build suspense and then boom, you have the big climax, right? And it's tough to do these one location type, in a way type. It's not a true one location movie. That that's coming up in my future horror review, the, my next film I'm going to talk about, where it's truly a one location film. But it's hard to um, it's hard to make things interesting and exciting. It's very it's very tricky. You know, some people said, "Well, this feels like a play." Well, yeah, it does. But it's the, the play it still has to be interesting. <laughs> You know, and I feel, hey, Jay Skull, what's up, man? At work cooking for drunk college students. Figured I'd pop up five minutes. <laughs> hey, it's good to see you, Jay. Good to see you, brother. You can always watch this later, man. Always watch this later and enjoy it. I'm just talking horror movies tonight, and then, uh, and then I'll probably wrap it up for today. Uh, but yeah, you know, the ending was cool. We had some good gore, good uh, hit, strip, and rip moments. Um I, I'm curious, for those of you that have seen this movie, let me know in the comments if you really thought Justin's character deserved to have his body parts ripped off. Because <laughs> even though he was, a, I mean, like, maybe maybe his ass kicked, taught a lesson, but did he deserve this? Like, I want to I know. Let me know. Let me know if you guys actually seen this movie and make it all the way through. 
I want you guys to. <laughs> I'm curious. Do you think it's good? Because again, he's he was a, he's an arrogant douchebag, but he still didn't make a move without having their consent. You know what I mean? It was like, yeah, it was douchebaggery with him saying he's going to send his his buddy photos and stuff. Of course, when she calls him on that later, uh, yeah, I mean, it's terrible, right? But again, uh, did he deserve this? <laughs> I don't want you guys to let me know. <laughs> and then getting his ass kicked, yeah. But then again, fuck it. I mean, the whole point is these vampires are hungry, right? So they don't really need a reason at all. He could have been the nicest guy in the world, and they were still at some point going to feed. So, yeah. So I feel uh, House of Darkness, unfortunately, misses the mark for me. And I would say pass on this. If you guys are curious, even if you, if you even if you got the hots for Kate Bosworth <laughs> and any of the other females that are in here, uh, it's not worth it. I, I would pass on this. And I feel this concept would have made a great short film. I think this would have been a, an amazing short film or um, part of a horror anthology movie, uh, you know. I, but yeah, just again, an, an, an hour and over an hour of just staring and awkward <laughs> dialogue. You know, it's tough. It's tough, you know. So, damn, they went all Baraka. <laughs> Oh, well, oh, nice. Well, I hope they're, the fatalities are gory. Yeah, yeah. You've heard of it, but you never saw it. Well, I'm I'm saving you the time. Uh, so you won't waste your time uh, with uh, House of Darkness. Yeah, unfortunately, it's a pass.